Welcome to Cake Desktop's video tutorial. Today I will be teaching you how to set up your child care facility data. Once you log into Cake Desktop, go to the configuration tab, then facility, and then facility data. First and foremost, fill out your facility name, address, email, and business number. The director's and manager's name and cell phone numbers go here. It is very important to choose the correct cell phone carrier so that the person can receive text messages from Cake Alert, which is available only to Cake members. The same also applies to the owner's information. In the next column, we have additional information, such as the age range of the children at your facility in months. So my facility supports the ages of children from 1 month to 12 year olds, or 144 months. Next, pick the operation type. Whether you have a small child care or license center, the license number, capacity, issue, and expiration date goes here. Next up is your facility's hours of operation. This is where you will pick and choose what days your facility is open and from what time. By default, we already have all the days checked and the time set from 12 a.m. to 11.59 p.m. Simply check which day you would like to be open and set the hours accordingly. If your facility is open at 6 a.m. every weekday, you can type it in once and then simply copy and paste it to the rest of the days to make it easier. To copy, click Ctrl C and then to paste, Ctrl V. This will expedite the process immensely. The same applies to when you're closed. So my facility will be closed 6 p.m. every weekday. So I'm going to go ahead and add that 6 p.m. to Monday and then copy and paste it to the rest. The importance of the facility hours of operation is that the students and staff members cannot clock in until the facility hours begin. Also, a child will not be able to clock in on a Sunday because the whole facility will be closed for that day. Please keep this in mind as you are creating the child's hours of care and staff work schedule. Next and most importantly is your facility logo. You can load a logo by clicking this button here and choosing your logo. Your logo should also be a perfect square and you should crop it to such dimensions so that it will align to all the templates we have. The facility logo will appear on multiple areas in Cake, such as the in and out kiosk, the printed or electronic receipt, statement and invoices, and many more. We will do our best to use your logo to advertise your facility through Cake. Next is the inspection and reminder. By clicking the add button, you can have many types of inspection and reminders related to the facilities, such as air filter replacement, all the way to licensing. I will really go into detail on this feature in the Reminders video tutorial. Let's go ahead and save and move on to the Classroom Data. Let's go ahead and click on Configuration, Facility, then Classroom Data. Let's go ahead and add a new one by clicking the plus sign here. You can name your class however you want, then add a classroom capacity. Now this is where Cake Desktop really shines. Depending on what children you assign to each classroom, Cake Desktop will use the age of the children to calculate the classroom ratio for you. And then, all you have to do is assign a staff to that classroom, and then you're done. I will be going into more detail about this in the class function and Cake Live video tutorial. This concludes our facility data for now. I will be going over the rest of the configuration menu in a separate video towards the end of the list. We would like to thank you for watching this video tutorial, and we hope this video helps. Cake, it's not about what we do, it's about what you don't have to.